here. This is Lake Eola here in Orlando, Florida. I used to run around this lake. It's about a little less than a mile all the way around, about 0.9 miles all the way around. So this is where I used to come to to run, especially when I was unemployed or when I was employed but underpaid and wanting to start a business. I used to come down here and run and just think about life, think about things, you know? So I've been down here broke as a joke. I've been down here without a job. So I, this place has always been very special to me. So now I'm back down here again, going back to the basics. I'm down here as a business owner. So I can reminisce about the past, about coming down here unemployed or under underpaid. So, now as a business owner, I'll be real and tell you guys, I am anti-job. I do not like jobs. I know we have to work jobs to pay bills and have money and to put food on the table. We have to do those things. But I'm gonna tell you one thing about me. If I ever have to go back to a job, I'm gonna go back, save up as much money as I can, and then I'm starting another business and I'm leaving. Up top, as soon as I get, get hired, that's already gonna be the plan, already. Cause I just love being a business owner. The thing that's different about being a business owner than a job, when you're working a job, you have to work hard, bust your butt all year long in hopes of getting a raise. That raise may come, it may not. And most likely if, it's, if it comes, it's gonna be pennies. As a business owner, you can think of ideas to make money and it will come, it will come. It's not a maybe. So as a business owner, you can give yourself raises you can increase your income. Say I picked up five more clients th this month. That would give me thousands of more dollars. So I don't have to work harder in hopes of making more money. When I work harder, when I take on more clients, I know for a fact 100% that I'm gonna make more money. So these are just a couple of reasons why I like being a business owner better than being an employee. And I think any successful business owner will be able to tell you as an employee, it's a bad business decision. Between the owner, between the company and the employee, it's a bad business decision because you will always lose as an employee and the company will always win. But I'm a business owner. I have employees. Why am I saying this? Because everyone who comes to me and I hire them on as a dispatcher, I tell them off top, I would rather you work for yourself. I would rather you start your own business. But a lot of dispatchers just want to work for me to with me to get the experience so i understand that that's fine but to be honest i never worked for a dispatching company except my own i never worked dispatching for anyone else so i know if i can do it you guys can do it too so i recommend that you go out there and you start your own freight dispatching company and the reason i like freight dispatching because it's a it's a low startup cost it's not like you have to go out there and spend ten thousand dollars to get started or anything like that it's a low monthly overhead and you can generate a lot of income with the freight dispatching business. So that's the reason why I recommend that business and taking money you make from freight dispatching, going out and starting your own authority like I did, getting your own trucks. You can do that, but I would recommend generating the money first from your freight dispatching business. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, send me an email, info at high-speedlogistics.com. Have a great day.